Our first mistake can be found in a season 5 episode, the original fry cook. And I gotta say, this is probably my favorite season 5 episode to come out of the entire season. In this episode, Spongebob starts to feel a little inferior, when a famous former Krusty Krab fry cook named Jim visits his old stomping grounds. Jim used to work at the Krusty Krab years ago, and we even get this cool flashback showing us how he looked back when he was younger years ago. Well, this flashback actually has a lot to do with our mistake, as during the episode, we get to see Jim's Best Employee Award. However, the award depicts him in his present day appearance, even though it should have depicted him in his younger appearance, the same appearance we've seen in the flashback, since the award is from years ago. So yeah, definitely a mistake here, it's a bit complicated, but here's a clip with audio. This place had class. worry, Jim. No one could ever take your place. The original is still underneath. Ah! Your Best Employee Ever Award! As most of you know, our favorite squid, Squidward Tentacles, absolutely loves to dance. However, he isn't alone in the Season 5 episode, Slimy Dancing with Spongebob and Patrick participating with him in a dance contest. Well, they try, as in the end, both Patrick and Squidward are not able to compete, only Spongebob is. But due to Squidward wanting the trophy so bad, like he really wants it, he literally goes inside Spongebob's body and uses his body as a costume, just so he can compete in the contest. Quite the ridiculous plot, but hey, it's still pretty darn funny, and a really fun episode overall. It does have a mistake though. It's pretty rough, but when Spongebob and Patrick help Squidward get up from the floor, Patrick's mouth, his whole mouth, is missing for a single frame. I don't know where it went, it does come back, but talk about a rough mistake. Here's a clip. <laughs> SpongeBob? You're just not getting into the spirit of this thing, Squidward. Don't help me out. How'd the audition go, Squidward? The audition? My trophy? <laughs> Season 5 is very hit or miss for me, but one episode I did enjoy was Blackjack an episode all about Spongebob panicking and worrying that his notorious cousin Blackjack is after his family. Now, one of the reasons that I personally really like this episode so much is due to us getting another really good look at the Square Pants family. With Spongebob visiting his parents' house, his grandmother's house, you guys know I love Graham Graham Square Pants, and even a new character, his uncle, Captain Blue Square Pants. And this is actually where we can find our mistake with it revolving around good old Blue Squarepants' house. As you can see, during this shot, Blue has grass around his house by his garage. It's really important to watch by his garage, you can see it right here. Well, later on, when Spongebob returns to Blue's house, his outside is completely different, with there now being sand beside the garage instead of grass, thus making for a really weird continuity error. I know Spongebob does cut the grass at one point, but it wouldn't turn the grass into, like, sand. So, yeah, here's a clip with audio. Uh, Uncle Captain Blue, I need your help. Well, if it isn't little Spongebob. Plant a firm one on me, Bobby. I need you to help me rescue my parents. Sure, little Bobby. I could use some help with the lawn, but you're gonna In the episode Not Normal, Spongebob's world is rocked when he's told by Squidward that he needs to start acting more normal, whatever that's supposed to mean. This really messes with Spongebob's head, with him changing nearly everything about his life, just so he can appeal to Squidward's stupid meaning of the word normal. 
The plot is actually pretty deep in this one, as you can see, teaching us that normal is different for everyone, and that there is nothing even wrong with being different anyways. Now the mistake in question is a bit tricky, but during one of this episode's bubble transitions, a date can randomly be seen on screen mid-transition. This text is just randomly there and has no relation to the episode, so it was a clear mistake during the transition by the animators. It's not that bad, but I mean, it's pretty rough, so yeah. Here's a clip. How about you start by... Getting away from me, you little creature! What's wrong with me? I need to understand normal! How to be normal. Hmm, this videotape should help. One fairly cool episode from season six is Spongicus, an episode all about Plankton turning the chum bucket into a classic old school coliseum that ends up stealing away all of the Krusty Krab's most loyal customers. So, of course, Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob head over to see what is going on, only to find out that Patrick fighting a sea lion is the main event of the entire show. SpongeBob's worried because Patrick is going to potentially die. Now the mistake in question happens earlier in the episode and has to do with Mr. Krabs. So during this shot, as you can see, Mr. Krabs' design is how it normally is, with his clothing having a white undershirt. Right here, as you can see, that little triangle is white. Well, during one scene in this episode, there's a brief shot where that undershirt is just like black or gray for Mr. Krabs, which isn't that big of a deal, but is totally a mistake. Here's a clip. What's the matter, boy? I think Plankton wants to destroy our way of life. Man alive, he's taking us down. Huh? Plankton's destroying the chum bucket? <laughs> I guess he's finally given up on the restaurant business. In the season four episode, Fear of a Krabby Patty, Plankton has a new and fairly clever plan, with him convincing Mr. Krabs to change the Krusty Krabs hours to 24 hours, all in the hopes of it exhausting SpongeBob overworking him, thus giving Plankton the perfect opportunity to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula. Pretty clever. Well, this eventually does kind of work, with SpongeBob becoming so dead and exhausted that he starts to see things that aren't real, like Mr. Krabs turning into a Krabby Patty. Now, the mistake in question is something we've covered many times before in different episodes, and has to do with Plankton's iconic restaurant, The Chum Bucket. As during this scene, the path that connects the Krusty Krab to the Chum Bucket, this path, is missing when it should be visible based on numerous other episodes, right? So, yeah, definitely a mistake, and here's a clip with audio. Couldn't we get to work earlier than 6 a.m.? Like 5.30 a.m.? Or 5 a.m.? Or 4 a.m.? Oops, I had... What the? The Chum Bucket could open 23 hours? So, that little piece of flotsam plankton thinks he can stay open longer than me, does he? Sure. I, I don't know. Why not? Well, he's wrong! When SpongeBob and Patrick go visit Sandy to show her their new back scratcher, and the episode chimps ahoy, Sandy is really stressed out. She's really stressed. Due to her bosses, the chimps, coming in that afternoon to see if she's invented anything worthwhile. Well, fortunately for Sandy, SpongeBob and Patrick do their best to try and help her and come up with a back scratching, hair combing, nose picking, ukulele tuner, a real work of art, I guess. Now, in the end, the chimps love the invention. Once they learn that it can peel bananas, you know, they're chimps, so it makes sense. And because of this, everything works out. However, we're here to spot like mistakes, so let's rewind back to this scene and find one as when we first see Sandy's guitar, it is only drawn with three tuning pegs. It's supposed to have six or four if it's a ukulele, but in this scene, it only has three. However, when we see it again, like moments later, it now magically has a fourth one and has four tuning pegs, thus making for a sneaky little continuity error. Here's a clip. Oh, I give up. I'll never invent anything. Yep. 
so long bikini bottom. I can't leave without a goodbye. But please don't think bad of me if and I start to cry. Oh, I really wish Sandy were here. All aboard. Will this bus take you somewhere when you've got nowhere else to go? Oh, it sure does. We make stops in Quittersville, Failure Town, and Loserburg. When SpongeBob and an executive chef trade jobs in a cultural exchange program in the episode La Big Switch, SpongeBob does not start out very well with his new establishment, as the owner is really rude to him and only wants him to cook items that are not Krabby Patties. From here, the owner continues to give SpongeBob a hard time. That is, until he actually tries a Krabby Patty, realizing how delicious it tastes. And from here, things go well, with SpongeBob completing the program successfully. It's a neat episode that I recommend watching, but of course, we're here to spot mistakes, so let's talk about some mistakes. When SpongeBob puts the bag of Krabby Patties in his briefcase, the bag is colored as red. As you can see here, it's red. However, if you look closely during the next shot, the bag has magically changed to brown, making for something that isn't that big of a deal. But it's still a mistake, like this is a mistake. I, I guess, I mean, red to brown isn't that big of a change, but it's a mistake. Here's a clip. These babies also belong to the Krusty Krab. <laughs> Just one more. I'm sorry, but I got to go. In the episode, The Thing, Squidward's day is ruined yet again by SpongeBob and Patrick, who force their way into his house just so that they can watch TV with him. Squidward tries his best to deal with his neighbors calmly. But after they constantly talk during the show, he eventually leaves his own house for some fresh air and ends up covered in cement. Talk about an awful day. Heading back to the beginning of the episode though, and we can spot a mistake, as when we see this shot of Patrick's house, something seems to be missing. That's right, the path normally found in front of Patrick's rock home, like the path that leads to his house, is missing in The Thing during this scene. And it's weird, because it's been in like every episode prior, so again, definitely a mistake, and here's a clip. It's too quiet. Something isn't right around here. When SpongeBob discovers that Squidward has ordered a female purebred racing snail in Season 3's The Great Snail Race, he gets a little too competitive and enters his own pet, Gary, into the race, eventually coaching him to the point of exhaustion. It's actually, like, really sad. Now, at one point in the episode, we get a close-up shot where we can see an exhausted Gary laying on the ground. And if you look closely, you'll notice that SpongeBob's pants are incorrectly blue when they're actually supposed to be red as seen in every other scene of the episode. So yeah, a very clear mistake here. Let's go Gary, start moving! You're blowing everything we trained for! Blowing it! Gary, are you listening to me? Get the anchors out of your pants right now! Don't give me that look! I said now, mister! Get going, Gary! Our last mistake on today's list is from the episode To Love a Patty. This episode focuses on SpongeBob falling in love with a Krabby Patty. Yeah, as you can imagine, it's a fairly weird episode. It's good, but it's really weird. Let's talk about some mistakes, though. Now, during this scene, there is a huge mistake that a lot of people miss. When SpongeBob says, oh, Patty, when we're together, his white teeth turn yellow for a second. I know we've talked about this type of mistake before, but this one's new, and it's disgusting. SpongeBob, go brush your teeth. Pretty gross. What's cooking there, Patty? Oh, are you kidding? I love crepes. Oh, Patty, when we're together, I feel like we're in our own little world. Like... Nothing can hurt us. Fire! Fire! 
In the extremely iconic episode, Bubble Buddy, SpongeBob accidentally creates himself a new best friend. Playing with bubbles, this guy is literally made out of bubbles, and he's pretty cool. This character's name is Bubble Buddy, and as most of you guys know, he becomes a somewhat recurring character on the show. Enough about Bubble Buddy though. Let's talk about the mistake, as during this scene, where Squidward gives Bubble Buddy a Krabby Patty, we can see that it's been topped with lettuce, alright? We can see it right here, there's lettuce on it. However, seconds later when Spongebob opens the patty, the lettuce we literally just saw is missing and is now magically changed into a slice of cheese. Don't get me wrong man, I love cheese, but it was lettuce before, I don't know what happened. Here's a clip with audio. Before I show it though, I just want to give a shout out to the Grapple Gang. All of you guys watching this video right now, I love you guys. I'll be in the comments responding to every comment from subscribers, so if you're subscribed by the way, make sure to comment as I'll be responding to the comments of all subscribers for sure. YouTube shows me if you're subscribed, so yeah. Thank you so much for all of the support guys. Here's those clips and I'll see you guys again soon with some more Spongebob content. Peace. Here we go! One of everything for Bubble Bunny. <gasps> oh no, Squidward, wait! There's cheese on these patties! And? Bubble Buddy's lactose intolerant, he can't...